Okafleck slides it through, Jack Aitchison in the box, onto his right foot, thought about the shot, it's in the back of the net and Jack Aitchison with 18 minutes gone has given Celtic the lead here in the City of Glasgow Cup, it was good play from Okafleck but once the ball was in the box he knew what Jack Aitchison had in his mind and he has given Celtic the lead. Absolutely brilliant, excellent from Okafleck again, just picking up a little pocket, good run, composure zone from Jack as well, thought he'd have had it in his left hand side, number six slips, really good finish Jack. Kelly, Adonis drives through the middle, he's got Middleton through that inside right channel, he's got the take out wide, knocks it to the Rangers wing up, stabs it forward towards Middleton, tries to cut onto his left foot, and again there's plenty of green and white shots, and it's volleyed off the bar, Rangers so close to the equaliser. And Henderson, well, Robbie Dees needed to be strong in that tackle, although he stayed down there, he's hurt himself after the challenge from take. Johnson, wonderful skill there from the Celtic forward. The number 10 just inches over the bar. Chance for Celtic to extend the lead, and it will be Mikey Johnson. He's not so dangerous on the ball. Can he put the ball in the back of the net? He's already scored three first team goals. Can he get Celtic second tonight? He steps forward and fires it. And it's in the back of the net, and Mikey Johnson, that's wonderful technique. Keenan right at full stretch, could only get a hand on it. But Mikey Johnson, 37 minutes, has made it Celtic 2. Rangers nil. Absolutely brilliant, wonderful technique from Mikey. We spoke about whether the caddy going round or Mikey to get it up and over, but absolutely wonderful goalkeeper at full stretch. Absolutely no chance, wonderful finish, Mikey. Mikey McPake has come in off the right wing, switches it to Middleton. Takes the shot, and it's a good save in the end by Mullen. Well, it was low, it was powerful. And Mullen bundled off the ball there, a free kick by Dallas, and a good play from Ryan Mullen. Fires it low into a dangerous position, but Celtic bring the ball clear again on the break. They can make Rangers suffer, that's a wonderful ball for Mikey Johnson to Karamoko Dembele, Rangers sprint back in support, remember number three, Shields is already been booked, he can't challenge, the ball curled across, well you could see what he was trying to do there, he looked at his body, he was looking for the top right hand corner, but just wide in the mark. Celtic perhaps with one last chance, into the last 20 seconds of the game, Johnson across the six yard box, well, Henderson from about four yards out, side foots it, left footed. Well, you'll probably wonder how that didn't up, end up in the back of the net. Oh, Can you believe that there? I, th I thought it was in it. I think Hendel with his quality should be busting the back of the net with that one. And the ball spins across, headed clear by Shields, which Celtic pick up the loose ball and they really start to dominate the ball. Yeah, excellent, really good there, it just the overloads in possession here, nice quick sharp play, but you look at Barry Coffey's position for the second wave. Johnson, again, just wide in the right hand post, that was his strength and skill, it turned Palmer, he just couldn't put it on target, so close to a third goal. Strangers driving forward, but Jonas again, he's got Middleton wide in the left into the box on his left foot, takes the shot, it's low and it's in up the, off the post and Rangers have reduced the deficit, well it was in the tightest of angles, pulling at full stretch, couldn't stop it and Rangers are back in this game. Yeah it was, I must admit, it looked a, a very very tight angle from where we were and it's, to be fair to the lad, it's a, it's a good shot, good finish across goalkeeper. I'm sure it'll be a tough last ten minutes. The ball breaks and it's for Jonas and again he'll look to try and feed Middleton on that left hand side. He's, Middleton had to stay on side, he's got the ball now and again fires it into the box. And the ball just knocked over by Mabudi there, well you probably feel that he could have done better, thankfully it's gone over the bar. It's delivered towards the penalty spot, headed back into the area, it's knocked away. Again, there's plenty of players trying to get a touch on that, it breaks up towards the halfway line, here comes Celtic, suddenly it's three against one, Celtic driving forward, Savory, a chance to make it 3-1, and he's saved by the goalkeeper, Rangers can't quite clear it yet, and eventually breaks back, Celtic still with a chance, but it's blocked at the expense of a corner kick, well that would have been game over. Yeah, it would have been really good from Granty as well, it was a, it was a good run from Cammy Harper, it just keeps the, the Rangers defender thinking, it just shows you, uh, Rangers go for it, leaves himself open at the back. 
end to end stuff now. Celtic defending desperately. Magruder head to the box. Finlayson takes a touch. Go to the Rangers goal scorer, Middleton. Thought about the shot. This time he does hit the shot. And that, I have to say, is a wonder strike. Well, Mullen had absolutely no chance. And with five minutes remaining, suddenly it's Celtic 2, Rangers 2. Yeah, you can't allow him that amount of space. You've just seen the, the first goal that he's went to score, but to be fair, it's an absolute beauty of a strike. And Mullen just slightly left of centre. The referee's whistle goes. Middleton steps forward. And it's saved. It breaks to the Breen well. I'm not sure if he just took his eye off the ball. It certainly looked easier to score. Brings the header, and it's flicked in by Henderson. Yeah. Both teams just going for every ball in these last few seconds. Open flex under pressure. Tries to get beyond his man. He's bundled off the ball by Kelly. Well, this is the chance for Celtic to swing the ball into the box. Kelly protesting his innocence, but this really is the last chance, really, for Celtic. Yeah, this is it. This is that last chance of the game by the looks of it. Eugene Henderson delivers that to the far post Dees is the only Celtic player there the ball breaks to Robbie Dees Robbie Dees takes a shot yes! he's put it in the back of the net he's a it's hero a in the last seconds a wonder goal for the centre half look at the celebration Celtic jubilant they have won the City of Glasgow Cup what a goal to win it absolutely brilliant and he's been superb all game but absolutely different class and you can see when the ball was played in he was the target wonderful reaction never a centre half with a finish like that brilliant well, wonderful play there. Well, the ball broke to him, he was the only man there, and he volleyed it beyond Kieran Wright into the back of the net. That is a goal to win any cup final. Absolutely different class. I'm so pleased for him from the very, very first minute. And you can see Tommy McIntyre was absolutely screaming during that set play as well, that we had a bit of protection. But he's done ever so well with the, the first one. But I tell you what, right side as well, have that. It can be mere seconds left. And Celtic surely about to become the Glasgow Cup winners and indeed they have well delight for the Celtic players look at the celebrations from these young Celts and Robbie Dees what a way to win the game he had a wonderful game of defence but my goodness what a finish absolutely brilliant I tell you what to another emotional game as well we've seen Middleton score an absolute world up one side of the pitch but I tell you what for the centre back to go and score one of that outstanding all game different class from the young Celts the Celtic fans here will acclaim another Celtic trophy being lifted here. The City of Glasgow Cup winners 2019. Celtic Football Club. Well, the light show for the youngsters and you can see the delight. They certainly enjoy winning that trophy. The losing side just make their way up the tunnel. It's all about Celtic tonight. And delight for those Celtic players.